Alright, hello and welcome to another Marvel Snap deck highlight. Today we're looking at Strong Guy again, but in a more standard um, discard list. Uh, I say it hesitantly because it's also like a pseudo uh, gambit kill bait. Uh, the I guess the weirdest part is I have Hitmonkey in the deck. The idea is I just kind of want a lot of swarms in my hand. So I can like swarm the board and then hit monkey for a lot of power. Uh, I don't really care about my about this game. Can't we lose Meek? That's fine. Uh, hopefully that's not our swarm. Um, I mean I don't really want to do any of those, but I need the tempo card really. I'm gonna strong guy. Uh, I think this is wrong. We only have one card in our deck. Okay, he got our Wong. Oh wait, that's actually so good for us. It means we have Swarm in hand. That's so good. Um, we probably don't worry about the hit monkey. We probably just Modoc. Uh, and then play out the hand. Um, uh, yeah, so we're adding 19 power, we go up to 22. Is that right? Yeah. I mean, it's not unreasonable to think they probably can't play enough power out, right? They could have like a Doc Ock, maybe? Interesting that they decided to go for middle. Because they're only two power off on left. I guess they really wanted to hit the one power off the Modoc. I, I don't know. It's an interesting one though. But yeah, I mean, this is kind of what I wanted this deck to do. Just play out a bunch of swarms because it's it's funny. Hopping into game two, the idea um, of the deck was to utilize Hit Monkey to play out a bunch of free swarms. Um, which is why originally Modok wasn't in the deck. Uh, it was like a Wong Colleen Wing thing. But I evolved it to a more standard ish discard deck. Which is what it is now. Uh, okay. I mean, this is fine. We don't need to. We're not in a hurry to play out cards. So. 
Uh, also, if you guys enjoy it, please consider subscribing for future deck highlights. I don't enjoy shilling like this, but the data that I see says when I say it earlier in the video, people do it more. Um, uh, yeah, so if you do, it does mean a lot. It helps out a lot. So I would appreciate it. I'm on the road to a thousand. Uh, and so we're getting close. We're almost at 900. So every little bit helps. So I, it means a lot. I appreciate it. Anyway, back into the video. Uh, Gambit. Moda. Honestly, it's just unfortunate that my Wong, I didn't have priorities, so my Wong couldn't do it first. My Nakia. How many cards do I actually have in deck? Is that accurate? Yeah, that is it. Uh, okay, yeah, so we do nothing. And then we Gambit, Hit Monkey. Swarm, swarm. Play out Black Bolt. Play out back Black Bolt like you know you want to. This guy's a sucker for it. You can tell in the way that he plays. He wants to Black Bolt so bad. Um, I don't think, okay, you know, I was going to stay because it's funny, but now you're pushing your luck on how funny I think it is. Also, this is the second time I've played this exact deck in a row, like, uh, everyone's playing this deck, it's just, like, I don't even think it's, like, that good, it just is annoying. Like, I don't know, I guess people enjoy that? Whatever. Alright, hopping in to game three. Uh, Gambit getting hit kinda sucks, but it's not that big of a deal. Can Morbius destroy? Uh, I mean, Strong Guy is almost like guaranteed to pop with Adelan. Holy, that is so not good. Like, oh my gosh. Give me anything, please. A strong guy. I don't really know why they want my strong guy, like, I can just play in the machine world, <laughs> but, okay, I guess. What an unfortunate hand we have. Oh, we got their strong guy. I mean, do they have Mystique? Like, we like auto lose if they have Mystique, I guess. I mean, we lose like a lot. Oh. <sighs> Two power off. Tragic. 
Oh, man, if I would have just played out the swarm, we win. Uh, oh, man. Because this would have been, it would have been uh, one more power here and one more, and two more power here. That's unfortunate. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Hopping into game four. Um, I'm not sure. I feel like I always want to play Meek early because, um, like he's not an ongoing effect. But also the other side of the coin is like, uh, it might have been better to have like Collector in the deck over Meek. I mean, I like that. I like that a lot. Holy lord. It's gonna be a good day. <laughs> Morbius? So they drew my Morbius. Hit monkey. I don't know how many cards I even have in my deck. One. Okay. <laughs> sure. I feel great, <laughs> honestly. I don't even need cards. They're overrated, man. Um, yeah, we're not in like a great spot. I wouldn't say like, oh, we're in an instant win. Like, I think, I know this deck doesn't have like great power up, but no. Okay. Strong guy ties us left. Oh, man. I mean, I could play to like barely win all of them. Getting a whole lot from here. Oh, we win! Let's go! If Asteroid M wasn't there, we could have had a huge hand too, because we would have had seven power swarms. Uh, but bigger scampy choosers, so. Also, like, is there something I'm not, like, understanding about Baron Zemo? Like, why are there so many Baron Zemos going around? Like, I think he's a fun card. Like, don't get me wrong, I think he's a cool, fun card. But, like, he doesn't do anything that's, like, crazy. Like, if you told me, like, he was gonna be the card that everyone's playing, it's like, yeah, no. Yeah, good, good one. You, you got me. It's a funny joke. I don't understand why people are all playing him. Um. Probably just wait. Crystal. What if I play out my whole hand this turn? I 
And then I just play the 10 power apocalypse into Sinister London. I think it's a good play, honestly. middle. I am Iron Man. That's a bummer. I mean, they have to get lucky, right? Like, what is this card? Crystal. Like, they have to get so lucky. Like, if they, like, onslaught or some shit, like, they have to onslaught left and then have it also pop, uh, onslaught right and have it pop left. It can happen, I know, but like, oh my god, they didn't even have it in fucking hand. Doesn't matter. Okay. Dude, if that magic would have pulled nothing, went left, then pulled onslaught, and I, I lost because that, I would have been, been so mad. <laughs> Alright, probably hopping into the last one for today's video. Uh, I don't think we can win White Hot Room. Uh, I mean, in theory, we could... Fill it on four. In theory, we could fill it on four. Does it help us? Yeah, it helps us. I think we play strong guy and white hot, and then pray we pull something in the next two turns. We really don't have a whole lot. That is something. I wanted something that would let me move Meek, but... Modok lets you move Meek? Thanks. Thanks, comment. Love that. Got it. Awesome. Cool. Something actually helpful now. Um... Oh, it's Destroy. I mean, I guess I'm just modocking Shuri's lab and then playing into Central Lake. I definitely need to change my underwear. We got the energy, so. It's cool. I guess we can modoc Gambit next turn, huh? And then we just apocalypse middle, apocalypse and whatever we pull middle. Venom. What a game. That's so weird to me that they do that. Um, that was literally our worst draw, by the way. Uh, if they have death, we lose. If they have venom, we lose. Well, no, they, we don't lose if they have. If they have death and venom, we super lose. Oh, 
Oh, sick. They didn't have death. Victory. Yeah, they win if they have death because they can go Deadpool death. And that wins. Uh, no, Deadpool didn't win here. They go Deadpool death and like anything else here. Like, I think Deadpool death. Death, Deadpool Venom wins this thing. Because we would be at 17, yeah, so like literally any card with Deadpool wins left. But I'm glad they retreated, so. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, let me know, subscribe for future deck highlights, and I'll see you in the next one.